up everybody we're playing more mtg arena with the belladros witherbloom and trying to untap lands a bunch um this hand is not great i mean everything costs a lot so we're gonna mulligan um same issue here we have removal narset tends to be a bit more counter heavy though so i kind of want to get stuff out earlier than later so i think we're gonna mulligan this too Uh, honestly, this is the best we're gonna get. Um, I would keep the Night Shepherd. Hmm. I might regret that, but we'll see. Tap land for always first. Slitherbor. We're gonna go into Shatterfang and hopefully we can, uh, they allow me to cast said Chatterfang. Swiftfoot, okay, this is good news for us. Because actually, yeah, we have to do Chatterfang. We can't do Corsair, unfortunately. No green mana. Hopefully we can draw a forest. Probably gonna kill Chatterfang by the looks of it. Narset the Exile, you say? Okay. What we got here? Look at the... When exit, you may exile... Okay, so that's not great for us. Um, but we can't do anything about it, really. So I'm just gonna give him... Uh, I'm actually going to... Hmm, forest Walk? I'm, I'm just gonna attack him. Attack him, save Deadly Dispute in case Chatterfang dies, which he probably will. Um. Yeah, Narset's pro- oh, no Narset. That's fine. Ow. Swiftfoot, okay. You may cast the Exile card without paying its mana cost. What is the Exile card? Four damage target creature? Okay. We will sacrifice Chatterfang. Does he counter it? He does not. Interesting. Okay, so now we have the option to go for Crufix, which I'm going to do. Hmm. Actually, no. Here's what we'll do. We're going to set up... I might, I can't, mm, I need to wait. I'm gonna wait for him to drop Narset, cause I'm gonna play Liliana, get him to get rid of, and then we'll have him sacrifice his commander in the Flame Sage. This is even better. This is actually, oh, okay, that's actually not great. I thought this was okay, but since he dropped the token down, he could sacrifice the token and keep. he's got going on okay that's really annoying that i'm not getting lands at all um we're just gonna keep mm. honestly yeah let's do this because the minute we do this and then somebody dies now he's incentivized to attack so heavily Granted, he can just get rid of it if he so wishes, but he's spending resources on it. And he probably has removal in his hand, too. But either way, I kind of I win that war, so to speak. Interesting. Let me cast a second. What do you do here? Plot? This card may be cast as a sorcery on a later turn without paying its mana cost. Okay, that's interesting. I don't know why you would do that, but it's fine. Yeah, I don't know why he's waiting so long. Yeah, I would, ju I would just swing out. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. Whenever you attack for each opponent, create a... Um, 
Um, yeah, I'm not too concerned about killing the tokens, to be honest. I would much rather have the, the card than keep a blocker. Um, okay, so here we definitely want to get rid of Annaline. Uh, go grab a forest. Then here we can... We could keep Blood Chief Thirst. Blood Chief's Thirst. Hmm. Actually, yeah, we're gonna do it. Because next turn we can Wither Bloom Liliana, and we are sitting pretty nice. He's probably gonna drop Narset. I imagine. I mean, that's the whole point of. Or he's gonna keep mana open. It's an interesting choice. I don't know if I agree, but do you? Actually, that does kind of prevent me from untapping lands. So the minute he does this, I'm kind of. I'm a little. I'm hurting a little bit. Once again, Dark Creature. That's a convenient. That's a convenient draw. All right. Okay. Well, let's. I'm gonna die to dumb stuff at this rate. So I actually. Two, four, five. Oh my goodness. I should do this first. Honestly, let's get Corsair out. Because he probably will counter that. He doesn't? You counter this? Gotta counter something, man. That's all I can do. This does um, make him think twice about attacking, though. Unless he has something in hand that's amazing. Oh, switch Swiftfoot Boots to Narset. No? What did I- I disagree, good sir. Switch Swiftfoot- Swift- Swift- Mm-hmm. Yep, that. Okay, I guess we block here. We're actually sitting okay, to be honest. Okay. Oh boy. Hmm. I think we do this. We want to... Actually, we're probably gonna burnish tart. Go get lands. We're not going to attack because now we are we are kind of racking up stuff to. Oh shit! Okay. The nice thing about this though is that we are we are taking a lot of damage here, but we're going to gain a lot of it back and draw a bunch of cards with Molder Vine. Unless he destroys it, in which case we we have a bit more of an issue here. That and he can level this up and maybe cast something catastrophic, but I don't know what he's planning on doing. This guy's really kind of all over the place. There's been a lot of... And I misplayed a bunch too, don't get me wrong, but there's been quite a few uh, misplays. <sighs> okay. Non-creature, non-land card. Oh gosh, I don't even know what he has. Nice. Oh, he has Bolt. So is he going to do that to Ayara? Burnished hard? Is that what he got rid of? Blood Chiefs. Okay. That makes more sense. That's fine. I think that's fine. We are forced to block here now, though, which is unfortunate. Okay, that's a uh, that's awfully convenient. Okay, so I guess honestly we're just gonna do this 
because we're gonna bank it on getting a oh never mind well we don't have a board wipe so we're fucked mm. oh actually let's go search for a card don't counter it don't counter it don't counter it please don't counter it don't counter it i will cry it will be a flood of tears of, te of, of crying of tears that i'll cry of tears that will pour from my face as i cry Ooh, uh, oh no, okay. Do I, ha I have a board, I gotta have a board wipe. No way I don't have a board wipe. No way. There simply is no way I don't have a board wipe. That's not meat hook. Meat hook? Am I blind? You know what, fuck it. It looks like I don't have a board wipe. I could have meat hooked. You know what? Screw it. We're going for broke. Why did I do that? This might be the, the, the top 10 dumbest decisions I've ever made. Because he's just going to counter it. <laughs> I love Narset. I love counter spells. They're fun. Yeah, that was dumb. But I mean, I was going to lose that anyway. Probably. Back to it. Um, that's better. That's better. We can work with this. Six, another six attacks, mill three cards for the land card. Okay, interesting. We'll poke him for one. We're kind of just doing some generic stuff here. Uh, six is probably coming out or some sort of form of a ramp. Also, we're fighting Darth Revan, which is um, quite, quite the reference that I appreciate. Interesting. Um, Underrealm Lich. Um, he's gonna get his commander out, but that's fine. Invasion of Zendikar. And this guy likes lands. This guy likes lands. I can't imagine. I don't know what he could have. Maybe a. Uh, hey, um. That's interesting. That's very interesting. That is very interesting. Bolus is Citadel. Okay, we can't do much with it. I'll just swing. It's actually kind of good that we got the Maze Monotone because we can scry that to the bottom, put Woe Strider out, and we're done. Actually, no, we're not. We can sacrifice the goat to put the land at the bottom, put Erebos out. Hmm. I will sacrifice the land where else. Put that at the bottom. Okay. <laughs> it's interesting. Huh. Interesting. Five. Okay. So I just have to remember to not take the land option if given the chance because I can just play the lands from my graveyard. I'm really curious, like, I don't know if saving for Vorinclex is the idea, my guy. Am 
my turn. Take Deadly Dispute. Sack a creature. Mm. Honestly, yeah. I think we do that. Probably sack Erebos, to be honest. Ah, oh, he's indestructible, though. Yeah, I think we are sacred. That's kind of wild that I'm choosing to do that, but yeah, okay. Well, yeah, I feel like that was, that was kind of a snowball effect that he wasn't going to be able to get out of. I think we're going to go for one more good one and get one more good match in. But yeah, that's kind of that's kind of how the deck wanna, wants to run. Like it's just a snowball effect of more and more uh, stuff that you can't deal with just because I'm paying life to drop stuff out with stuff like Bulls to Citadel. Eventually, stuff like Aetherflux Reservoir would have started popping up. Uh, Vito, Exquisite Blood. It just would have been no fun. No fun. Okay, so we have a few options here. We I kind of like this because we can go dig up and Phyrexian Arena we got. So I think we're going to keep it just for the card draw alone. We are dealing with a bit of a more aggro deck, it looks like. But I'm willing to sort of sacrifice that to grab a swarm. Pretty standard gameplay so far. Commander comes out, I imagine. We actually, in that case, we want to cultivate to swamps? Swamp forest, probably. Because then we can uh, go stride our Ashnod's altar, Molder Vine. Actually, we could maybe even get it to a. Uh... That's not great for us. Treasure token and a draw card. It's pretty good. Ooh, okay. So what's the move here? Dark ritual into Wither Bloom. Tap for green. Untap all lands. Molder vine. Hmm. Actually, yeah, Molder Vine. Uh, that's it. Seems a little bit much, but with Molder Vine, we can then kind of do a lot of stuff finicky with Plum the Forbidden and blocking with the pests. Because he doesn't have Trample on anything yet. He's probably going to, yeah, he gets rid of Belladros, which is fine. Annoying, but fine. I doubt he's going to spend something to get rid of a pest. He might do it to Moldervine though, which is a little annoying. And technically, Belladros didn't die, which is why I didn't draw the card from Moldervine. I'm actually taking a lot of damage here, so this isn't great. So we're going to block to see what he does. Okay, then we'll plumb. Because we're going to lose a bunch of life, but gain a bunch of life from the pest. Draws a card. I don't think he... He's not going to have anything with direct damage, so I think we're still okay. But I definitely... Ooh. One. That's not good. So I think he wins this, and it's because I really messed up in terms of. Just, I think what I prioritized. I think I got a little too overzealous with Belladros. Um, we're probably we're gonna have to grab 
Uh, I don't think we... Yeah, we can't do anything about this. We're gonna have to draw. Yeah, nothing there. I don't even think the blockers will save me. Because he's gonna put trample on something. And it's probably gonna be Tovlar. And if he... Plus three, plus three. So I'd be, he'd be a seven, seven. I'd take five. Yeah. 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 Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Hmm. That was also kind of short. I think we'll do one more. This video might be a little long, but we'll, we'll go for one more. Um, so this is kind of interesting. We have a bunch of cards that we can't play, so we are going to mulligan it. Oh, gosh. Okay, it's better. It's better. We can dig up and get it back and dig up again if we really wanted to, which we might just have to. Kind of depends on what we draw, but... I didn't see what his commander was, so I had to look at it. Forest... Um, each creature that's enchanted by an aura you control can't attack you. Okay. So this is gonna be a bit more of a... Hmm. We are cycling out our deck quite a bit with all these lands, so that's pretty good, but his commander's gonna drop. So the fact that there's auras involved is a little disconcerting for me. Um, be land on top. Nope. So let's see what enchantments he's got then. X is the number of auras you control. Okay, so one. He's disincentivized to swing, but... Yeah, so he can't equip it quite yet. Which is good, because we can't do anything about that, really. We do have a meat hook on the way, which is an interesting development. But it won't be relevant for a while. Because he can just equip... Uh, Sword of the Realms... Yeah, this isn't looking great. Not looking great. Less than five. Okay, so if Erebos is out, then it'd be three. But with Massacre, it'd be five. Okay, so we actually don't... I don't think we want to block here. Four, okay. So, Erebos, and we have Vito on the way. I think we will place the altar down, just in case we do decide to uh, want to sacrifice anything to make a mill a bunch of stuff. I don't really want to though, even though we have Nightmare Shepherd that we can. Ugh. <laughs> okay, all that glitters is a pretty bad card to see right now. Oh, shit! Oh, no! <laughs> okay, this is not looking great. Um, I think we'll do this. We will block and then we'll just sacrifice since it's gonna die anyway. That, we'll, we'll target him, mill two cards. We'll also take the action to get him back in. Um, uh, how many auras he's- three? Three- three auras, I think? I think we'll decline, because I do still want to be able to get Witherbloom out here. And sort of utilize him in an efficient manner. Okay, my turn. Right. Temple of Malady. Ooh. 
Hmm. Ah, shit, 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 shit. Okay, so this is an interesting situation because we have the potential to... Because we can drop a Witherbloom. Honestly, I think we're gonna do that. He, does, he hasn't shown that he has anything to deal with Trample. So I think we're at a bit of an advantageous position to just do this, because I'm sure there's some aura that gives Trample, but right now we're not terribly hurting to deal with it. And I'm gonna be spawning pests, so we're looking okay. Can okay. It's not activated ability though, so I'm still gonna get all the pests, which is fine. Four, five mana still, so you can do a lot. Um, exile, exile target creature. Nightmare Shepherd. Okay. I think. Hmm. So this is interesting because we could sacrifice, make him mill a bunch, but I think that there's a ch good chance that we can get him back. Hmm. Yeah, we'll let it. We'll let it. We'll let it happen. I don't think we're gonna mill mill out anybody here, so it's not. I'm not too worried about it. Okay, he's gonna swing out, right? He's got five auras on him. Okay, pass to blockers. Um, obviously want to block him. We're not gonna block this the vendor. And we'll just sacrifice him to make a mill a card. Nope. Ooh, that's a good card to get rid of. Would not be able to deal with a shielded. Losing six life every turn is insane. Okay. My turn. Still get a pass. Glade. Veto? Does this is this enough? No, it's not. Okay, we're actually going to pay zero to just get me hook out, so that we can have Erebos on the field. And I think we're just gonna have to pray that this is enough. Ooh. We actually okay, that's actually great because we do want to sacrifice a bunch of stuff. I later lose a life and sacrifice an online bear and discard a card. Yeah, that's fine. I'm completely fine with sacrificing not land permanence. Dawn of Hope, that's not great. Still only six auras that we have to deal with, so we are still alive. Okay. Oh! What happened there? I missed it. I missed what happened, but, well. That was also a quick one. Fairly quick. I'll do one more. And if it's not in the video, then bye! But if it's not, if it is. <sighs> you know what, fuck it. We're gonna make this a longer video. Longer video. Ooh, okay, we have an interesting hand. I can, I can, I can get behind this. Skew, swarm, cultivate. That's a, that is a, that's definitely a combo. But we are dealing with a Vraska, so she could probably deal with the. Um. Ooh. Yeah. Swamp. Play the sw uh, the dark war pathway as green if it. Uh, we have a Cultivate, so I guess it doesn't matter. Boom. Skeet Swarm. Probably gonna kill Skeet Swarm. Yeah. As a treasure... Wait, so does she get a bunch of... I have so many questions. Um, I guess we'll do this. 
because land. Mm. I mean, honestly, yeah. Because then forest, bullets to sit down and pray, pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so Skeet's Horn works the same then. So if he has six lands, then we're gonna be dealing with a big, big problem that was supposed to be my big, big problem, so... Fuck. Topiary Stomper. Oh gosh, he's gonna get those lands pretty quickly. He's become a landfall deck. Hmm. The best case scenario is, is Bullets to Citadel Aetherflux, but... If history repeats itself, I'm gonna get Bullis' Citadel and like, I don't know, land. Fuck! Four, five, six. Yeah. He's gotta have something to do with Bolsa Citadel. It's an artifact. I'm sure he has something to do with it. Oh, brother. Yeah, this is looking pretty bad for us. Palantir of Orthanc, huh? Well, he's drawing the card. Soul Shatter. Is this relevant? Kind of, I guess. Um, evolving. Ooze to life. Another two life. Shatter fate. Oh, damn it. Okay. I'm really tempting fate here. Um. Good game. Yeah, let's just do this. Screw it. You can get the. Whatchamacallit? Okay. I need something that's not something. To the to your hand, okay. Yeah, that's pretty. Well we lose. That's fun. Exquisite blood. Bye. <laughs> Damn, dude. Yeah, I think Belladros is just really, really slow. He's just way too slow. These commanders that are like six, seven, eight, eight cost commanders are just too slow. At least for Arena. For I'm sure you can make Belladros competitive and actual commander, but we have budget commander because uh, Wizards is a terrible, terrible company that only value money. Yeah, I get like money. Money, of course, is important. Like. As a company, I get that. Like, I'm not belittling that because that's the whole point of a company is to make a good product to make money. But that Wizards has been pretty shit with their products. Pretty, pretty bad. Okay, this is interesting. We do have. I think we're just gonna do the Fable Passage. Pray that we get to Skewed Swarm because he is he. Uh, Shelob's kind of revolving around Shelob fighting things. But Shelob's not great at staying alive, so... As long as I can kind of... Mm, we'll just wait. Because we can, we can do Plum the Forbidden to draw a card, which I'll probably do, honestly. But we have Paralyzed, Cute Swarm. That alone is a great combo. It looks like he's saving something, so... I will bite the bullet. And Tish Rester, okay. So he's gonna be, he's having the same issue I am where I'm, he's gonna be ramping for a while while I'm miles ahead because that's how magic works. Ooh, interesting. Dude, did I? That's pretty good. 
Crucible of Worlds is a pretty good card right now. Having a Fable Passage in the in the back row. Especially with Skeet Swarm out, yeah, that's kind of busted. Shelob? Come on, you gotta do something there, guy. Invasion? Okay. Invasion is good. Well, I am a little concerned, though, because he does, um... What I actually think I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna play Crucible Worlds first, because he can play Shelob and then cast a fight spell of some sort. And I'm gonna save Deadly Dispute for the thing that he uses to fight. For the thing he targets to fight, I mean. Probably grab a force, looks like. Yeah. Then we swing. And then he's gonna be able to cast She Lob and, uh. Wreak Havoc, temporarily. Yep. She's here. Yep, as expected. So we'll sacrifice that Skeet Swarm. To draw two cards. Resolve. Couldn't fight anything, no targets. My turn. Um... I think we Belladros, right? Yeah, I think we're gonna Belladros. Auto pay. Um, I kind of, I don't like that I have him out here being targeted, but uh, Mr. Child of Umbliant has bigger issues. Um, probably another forest, why not? Okay, tap first, then we untap. And we untap. There we go. So we get Erebos and Parallel Lives Out. Yeah. Let me swing out. I don't know how this is going to work for him. Like, does he get. Does he get a Skeet Swarm? That was a mistake. That was a mistake on my part. That's unfortunate. Because now he can fight a plethora of things right now. Most scary being Belladros. Ooh, that's bad. That's really bad. Okay, having that trigger off spiders multiple times. That's really bad. I would have. I don't know if I agree with that. If he didn't have fight spells, then that's all he could do. But now I have ample access to. Oh boy! It's about to get out of hand. Unless he has a board wipe. If he has a board wipe, then GGs. Yeah. <laughs> 32 Skeet Swarms is kind of bananas. No matter how how you twist it. Well, that's a good way to end the video with a bunch of Skeet Swarms. Um, hope y'all enjoyed that. If you like this longer form stuff, leave a, leave a subscribe and a comment. Um, like the video if you enjoyed it, and click on this video for more MTG Arena. Love y'all. God bless.